Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we're working on this Cadillac limousine. I've been playing with some stuff here. Let me show you. I realized I'm just missing half of my intro footage where I took the car apart. So uh, we're gonna have to start this video a little bit further on than usual. So basically, we got this Majorette limousine number 339 through one of Andy's friends. Now Jamie needs a pimp limousine for an upcoming video. So today we want to class up this Cadillac and that's what we're going to be doing. So I think this color combo isn't terrible. Uh, if we just clean up this paint, use roughly the same color, we'll like do like the vinyl top and everything, make it all fancy looking again. I think it'll be a nice looking ride, right? And polish up all those glass. First things first, I'm going to try pull this thing out of here. It's pretty much toast anyways, I guess I could just cut it. Your services will no longer be required. Bleh. You are in retirement. Sweet. It'll be easy to fill that up. And that'll classy up our Cadillac a little bit. It already looks better. Ah. All kinds of nice little details to paint in here. What's that license plate say? It's Florida license plate 087 JPH. It's crazy, man. I know it's fake, but still. What does it mean? Well, I would like to try to make some room for these big, huge rims. If I can make those work, that would be sick, but... Got a bunch of metal in here I'll need to remove in order to have some clearance, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cutting, I think. Oh boy, we got a full-on chop shop happening here now. Gonna lower this thing as much as I can and try to tuck these big wheels underneath it. Mm hmm. So that might be a good start right there, actually. Should be able to do a little mock up here. If we were to glue this just like this, where would we end up? Oh, we're still pretty donked out, man. I think we could go a lot higher still. We need to be like up in there, man. So we could almost double what we got going on. Shouldn't have cut that groove so deep, boy. Doesn't matter. I mean, there's already a groove all the way to the bottom. The only difference would have been that... Um, that would have sat up on top there, probably perfectly. Mm hmm, it's pretty good actually. Sweet, that's gonna work out nice. Looks like a nice ride height. These majorettes, you know how they got this big, huge step down here, kind of like the, uh, kind of like the Chevys of today, where the frame drops down like that. We can consider this one done. So now let us. Let us work on the front. These big humongous rims, they're not gonna work out. I wanted big rims, but these ones are just one size too big for this here project. That's all right. I'll use them on something eventually. Hell yeah, man, it's gonna be sweet, man. Boom, hammer, boom, 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 boom. I'm liking that, a little teeniest, tiniest little bit of rake there. A little bit more in the front. I think we're good, I think we're gonna glue it. Bam, 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 bam. This is gonna be sweet. All right, I got our doors back on here. I wanted to fill in this little antenna hole now. So I'm gonna rough this up with some of this. Oh dear God. I'm gonna use a little bit of this to fill that hole. A little of this high heat putty. Oh no. <coughs> and we're just gonna Play-Doh factory a little bit of this through the bottom. Easy peasy. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry and we'll just cut it off flush, put a little bit of Tamiya putty on there, sand her smooth, and you'll never know it existed. I would say we are ready for a little Tamiya putty now. This stuff's for plastic models, but we've been using it on die cast with no problem, so put 
Put a little skiff on there. It's probably more than we need. Looks good. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and we'll get that sanded. I'm going to use my 3M Super Polish to clean this up. It doesn't look bad, but there is a couple scratches there. All right, we could do a little bit of sanding. I'm sure 600 is going to be too much for this. Maybe I'll just do a little bit. Doesn't look like much, but that is very smooth. Just going to clean up these edges. It's like it was never there. All right, let's mix up a little bit of paint. So I'm thinking like a, a real glossy kind of pewter color that has just a hint of extra red in it is what I'm thinking. So I should be able to just start with the red. I'll slowly add green, that's probably too much. Mmm, mud butt. Surprisingly, that's pretty close. <laughs> it's a little bit too dark though. So we'll add a splash of white. Because the lighter we go, I think the glossier this thing's going to look. That's looking like a Cadillac color to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I want to add some sparkles to this thing. Nothing crazy, just like, like factory paint. This is Cosmic Sparkle Silver. We're going to just uh, bomb this right into our brown paint. And that's the cool thing about this Createx color. Is you can really just make your own. Make everything yourself. We'll put in a bunch of this. Hopefully it doesn't get too light. This is going to add our sparkle component. Oh yeah, some nice looking chocolate milk. All right, I'm going to take this to the spray booth. And I'm going to take this to the spray booth. And I'm going to take this to the spray booth. And we're going to do this. Let's go paint. So I've got our front bumper looking real good here. One thing I've been trying to work on is, um, you see this little step right here? This part up top should be color matched and then the bottom down here will be chrome. So I gotta try to tape these off and get them painted. I've already done the back. I gotta redo it a little bit because I accidentally chipped it. But that's the idea we're going for. It'll be those extra details when the car is put together. And it's going to give a little bit extra. Using the vinyl, it's way more tacky, so it allows us to tape on chrome quite easily, actually. I'll put a little cut right there. I'll put a little cut right there. Now we're talking that's... That's how you stick to chrome. Alright, I got our sections taped off. I'm going to go give this a little spray with some color and redo the back as well. And then we'll start doing some details on the limo. Okay. Alright, so check this out. We got our headlights here. We are not going to have orange headlights. Down here are the amber park lights. Here and here, the one on the side is clear, and then obviously your headlights. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to Molotow everything except for these amber park lights, and we should end up with a real nice looking headlight assembly. Take 
terrible hungry noises happening here. Is that your stomach? <laughs> yeah, that was totally. That's totally gonna be like in the. I guarantee my mic picked that up. Now I'll try to do the edge of this park light. Pimp. Looks <laughs> catty. Bam, bench, bam, bam, bam. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Looks good. Gleek, 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 gleek. All right, I'm going to go give this a quick spray with some quicksilver and get this all blinged up. Starting to get kind of Cadillac y back there. So I did a rocker panel. That's going to look sweet. Here's the body, doesn't look like much. I got a little bit of our brown left I saved. I wanna make a little bit darker tint and then do this soft top. I think she's looking pretty slick so far. Blip, 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 blip. Yes. Bam, 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 Cadillac. I like it. Hell yeah, it's looking like a caddy roof if I ever saw one. All right. Let's, uh, let's pull this tape off. Check this out. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> it's looking pimp, dude. It's like if Snoop Dogg had a limo. Snoop Dogg probably has a Cadillac limo. And if he didn't, it'd probably be like this. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. All right, I'm gonna get an assembly together and we'll uh, I'll roll this thing out. I gotta do some cleaning up here as well. <laughs> this is looking great. Maybe we'll just take a second to go back and see what we started with on this project. Uh -huh. Pretty basic. Now let's look at Jimmy's new limo. Oh, damn, Jimmy. We gotta get this up on the rotisserie ASAP. OMG. What do you guys think of this creation? I love this thing. I think it looks phenomenal. Considering what we started with, there was like no detail on any of this stuff. And now look at it. Oh, just straight pimp. Got my little details on the back. I think the top looks amazing. Oh, man, you just chipped my door. Jeez, bro. Clink. Anyways, folks, that's going to do it for me today. The next video, uh, what's happening next? I think Andy's got a video releasing this weekend sometime, and then uh, my next video will be on Monday with another car. So until then, folks, have a great weekend, and I'll see you later. Bye, all.